Hi, I'm Mike, and this is how we do Disney. Countdown to Disney, T minus 10 days. It's amazing, it's amazing to think that like in just two work weeks, not 14 days, not two weeks, we're gonna be in Disney, it's very exciting. And I thought with this episode, what we would do is we would go through, I would, go through all the videos on YouTube and podcasts um, that I listen to on a daily basis that has uh, informed me, entertained me, and just uh, made my love for Disney even that much stronger. Um, what I will do is I'm going to go through the videos I watch on YouTube, the podcasts that I listen to. What I'll do is I'll name some of them to give some, you know, and give a very brief description. Um, then I'm going to do a top five of my favorite podcasts. So I'm going to leave. All right, for the first um, YouTube channel is A Magic Production. Short takes on uh, Disney history, and very informative. Sometimes you want to have variety, so why not play something that's, you know, 45 seconds to two minutes. Uh, next one is a new one that uh, I've been made aware of. I haven't watched a lot of it because I have a lot of Disney videos I watch and podcasts I listen to and other things outside of Disney. But they've commented on my video, so I thought I'd give a shout out to Theme Park Brews. Uh, new take on a journey to Orlando from Texas and their take on the more adult beverages of Disney. Uh, one of the few people I'm curious if I'll be able to run into when I'm at Disney. That would be kind of a bucket list among many. Uh, amusement parks. Uh, I'm reading, I'm sorry. Mix of other vlogs, park tours, and countdowns like uh, TPM video, Fresh Bake, Offhand Disney, Yes the World, Adam the Woo, All Ears, SoCal Attraction 360s, Defunct Land, Touring Plans, and WDW Magic. Uh, the next uh, channel is Are You Interested? Quick takes on history, abandoned rides, and legends myths of, uh, myth of Disney. Um, there's Classic Disney, which is basically like a, 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 a um, part of the playlist are commercials that show the rides from, you know, the past, you know, 1994, you know, this ride. Diz Avenue, they do long form uh, videos that will showcase like the anniversary, 25th anniversary of Magic Kingdom and stuff, and documentary style. Um, Lizzie Gaines, uh, her and her sister come from England and they chronicle uh, typically two weeks they spend in Disney and Universal. You know, it's, it's one of those things where you just watch it and you just shut your brain off and just watch it. Um, A Magic Production, short take on Disney history again. A Resort TV One, Rob Play, Retro WDW, The Double Dose, and last but not least, uh, Crispy S'mores, which, uh, Right now they're in Paris, so I'm watching that. It's great to see a park that I'm probably never going to make it to. So now we're going to do our top five video YouTube um, channels that I have found the most information or joy out of and regular viewing. The honorable mentions are runner-ups. Um, Rob plays, they're very short, precise, uh, very informative, very well thought out videos. Um, and the other runner-up is Resort TV One with Jenna and Josh. Bye-bye. Um, I, I like having the, they have the live video stream and I'm able to comment and they'll give a shout out every time. And they encourage people to come to uh, my channel, our channel. Um, we've gotten some, you know, some traffic, not a lot, but we've got some traffic. So now the top five, number five, is iTheme Park. They have iTheme Park 1 and iTheme Park 2. Um, the basic uh, thing about this, it is no conversation, no narration, no music. All it is is a video of them walking through, you know, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and the over 20 uh, resorts. 
Uh, it is very relaxing. It's very uh, interesting to me. And it's satisfied that, you know, shut your brain off and just watch and enjoy. So, number four is Disney Food Blog Guide or DFB Guide. They are, they are about um, the food, uh, best places to eat, worst places to eat, where to get certain snacks. And it's very entertaining and they're usually short. Um, they usually, well, not short, short, but short for my nature. Um, six to 15 minutes, no, no more than 15 minutes. Number three is interesting one, Disney at Heart with Brittany and Jared. Um, my wife, uh, around the, I guess the first time, maybe the second time we went to Disney, or the first time before we went to Disney in 2012, she obsessively watched that. And for some reason I was not down to watching you no know, two people were going around in Disney. I wasn't, my wife was obviously more advanced than I am. Um, but I gave it a shot. I started watching it when I, my interest in Disney kind of raised. She, her interest in watching the video was she was interested in being able to know how to navigate the park. She's a planner. So I started watching them and she's like, I'll watch it all over again if you want to watch it. And I'm like, sure. So um, uh, number two is Tim Tracker. Realize he's just like uh, him and Jen, um, his wife, obviously. Um, they go everywhere and they comment, and they're like I themed to a park, but with actual narration. And you know, hey, maybe they're going to be building this there, or I heard they're building this there. And it's a very like grassroots type of approach to it, where he has knowledge, of course, he has knowledge. But, you know, you're going on the journey with him. And now that I think about it is, now that I think about it, number two and number one could be interchangeable. But number one is probably my wife, and since she's not on this video, I re represent something that is the OG. Um, we, she listened to it on the podcast, and I'm not gonna include it on the podcast because with that, I don't listen to their podcast. I wait to watch it at night with my wife and that's Diz Unplugged Pete, Craig, Rhino, Steve and the other 90 other people that are in the video um, it's informative it's opinionated it's news, it's entertainment they do dining reviews they do um, resort reviews they do the 7 for 7 7 resorts in 7 days um, they also have the in-studio um you know, shows that are like hour, hour and a half and stuff. And it's, and for the most part, it's exciting. I love the countdowns they do. Um, I love best of and worst of. I sit there in anticipation and be like, I never been to this place, Boma, but I'm hoping that they say the number one restaurant for this is Boma. And I go, ah, cool. I think Pete's the coolest man. And, and uh, Steve's awesome. And, you know, so does Rhino. He's a character, man. I like him. But that's my top five. So now I'm going to go through my uh, podcast and I'll try to make this short because I'm probably at five or six minutes. I had to pause this several times and I got to get to working out. List for the podcast. That's Two Men and a Mouse, Unlocking the Magic, ResortLoop.com, MouseChat.net, WDW Radio. And reminder, these are podcasts some of these have videos some of these you can find on YouTube but my main uh, outlet to listen to all of this is through podcasting WDW radio is interesting it's just very long it's with uh, Lou Mangello it's like two and a half, two hours two and a half hours it's like I got a lot of Disney to listen to I can't just stick on to one person um, capture the magic I like Captain the magics um they're the Diz dude thing that they're doing where it's like they do it to keep it burn it or fix it like for rides it's very informative i've heard other people do it but they do it the best uh disney history institute and the disc quiz and now i'm going to do my top five podcasts that i enjoy first the runner-up is mickey dudes with dave tim joe and chuck i'm probably leaving names out i'm sorry enchanted tiki talk um, 
I was introduced to this show through a guy named Alan Mize, M-I-Z-E or Miz, who died, and that's kind of how I was introduced to it. I was looking at uh, things, and I was looking at the content they had, and it says, you know, I don't know if it said R.I.P. Mike or oh Alan, I mean, and I was like, oh, let me listen to this. And I kind of got, you know, attached to that through, you know, basically a tragedy. He was young, and he died of heart attack. Um, number five is WDW Memories with Lou. His name's Lou. Simple concept, but very effective. He starts the episode telling about the memory, where they are, um, and what they're going to do in, in that memory. And all it is is audio of them walking around the park. That's all it is, and that's all it needs to be, and it's pretty good. Because sometimes you're sitting and you're listening and maybe you want to hear some ambiance, some um, inside park ambiance, and that's the best you can do, and it's really good. Number four is connecting with Walt. Connecting with Walt has its connection with Tiz Unplugged because it's part of the same company. This one has Craig Williams and Michael Bolin. Michael Bolin is the encyclopedia of Disneyland and all of Walt Disney, and it's very exciting, very interesting. His voice is very soothing and relaxing and makes you want to listen and learn. With my attention span, I need that. And Craig offers the productions and uh, a good balance back and forth between the two. That being said, Michael Bolin just takes the reins and runs with it, and Craig just kind of, you know, you know adds his thoughts on what is being revealed to him by a Disney genius. Number three is Disney A to Z with Josh and Emma. Um, I love countdowns. I love categories like that. And I like the idea of like, you go start with the begin uh, with the letter A uh, in the alphabet, obviously, and you discuss something about Disney that starts with an A. It could be Alani, it could be Art of Animation, whatever it is, and they go through, and it's about 15 minutes, so it's short, but informative, 15, 20 minutes. Interesting thing is, is I was able to get one of my questions. Um, two of my um, questions were a topic of one of their shows. Um, I, I think one was the best place to watch fireworks, besides the obvious of the Polynesian and at the park. I should say too. I, I messaged my wife and I sent, you know, the link and all that stuff. It was exciting. It's great to like get your toes in with the Disney community because, as I'm saying, as you can hopefully be watching right now, um, I got a YouTube channel. Number two is Disney Dish with Jim Hill and Len Tessa. It's in the veins of connecting with Walt. It is a chronological order of Disney history, and you'll see episodes that say, you know. The, the pop century that almost was and it will be a whole conversation about how pop century has has uh, right across the hour glass lake is another kind of uh, similar looking resort <clears throat> that was good that's art of animation and it was gonna be uh, pop century is 50s 60s 70s 80s and 90s the decades pop century pop music pop movies everything fads and across was supposed to be 40s 30s 20s 10s and i don't know 1900s because of 9 11 uh, they had to scrap it and then they kind of reimagined it as art animation which is one of the best value resorts on property next to pop century Number one, though, is Mad Chatters with Derek, Jeremy, and Matthew. They just have very, like, inviting voices. They're very, they, they have a humor without being slapsticky or... Um, they'll play what-if scenario type games, and I enjoy that. And they also do countdowns, which is another thing I love. So that's it. With ten days left before we're off to sunny Orlando, Florida to start another adventure this time with a YouTube channel and hopefully I could get something different, a different approach to it. The funny thing is I haven't the foggiest idea how I'm gonna handle, you know, doing YouTube videos. Um, but shout out to everybody I gave a shout out to. 
y'all have a part in creating a guide map and uh, inf informing, exciting, uh, entertaining, as I said all in the beginning. Um, the podcast uh, and YouTube channels have meant a lot to me and my wife. It's been hours, countless hours of entertainment. We watch other non-Disney stuff, but there's a lot of times that we just want to sit down, cuddle, and we do. After 10 years of being married, we still love to cuddle with each other. We still like being around each other. And I don't know what I'm going to do, me and my wife are going to do when the Disney trip is over. My wife says she'll be all set with watching these Disney uh, YouTube videos. I mean, not so much, but we'll see what happens. Um, we have one more video, and I'll see if I can get my wife down. Actually, we got two videos. We got T-minus day five, five days left, and we have um, the final one uh, before we start our 2018 journey. Till then, remember to make a wish and do as dreamers do. Bye.